Prospect, a person that you're attracted to. Talent, a person that you want to get with in some capacity, such as dating or sex. Focused, doing your best to get what you want. Are you prospecting talent? Well, we're about to show you how to get focused. I've got to take it further. Now, you all may be thinking, what gives this little, short, misshapen, hairy fuck the authority to speak about getting bitches? Once you're outside of school, you're staying with a lot of people of the same sex, and those people either have girlfriends in which they're not necessarily bringing them into the group because, well, for obvious reasons, or, um, you know, they just don't know that many girls to begin with. The best way to prospect is by being a master manipulator. Now, what I mean by that is that you have to take the reins on every little thing you do and control every situation to your favor. Now, in theory, that might sound pretty easy, right? You go, oh, I just make some decisions here, uh, take some action there, and get what I want. And then you gotta rely on people for the rest. But what I mean is, is that you have to do your research. That's primary numero uno way to get focused and prospect. So let's say for example, this is uh, some real shit by the way, this actually happened. Um, I go one day into a, uh, a coffee shop and there's this, this, this lovely biddy uh, there in the morning serving coffee. And uh, you know, way out of my league, I'm like this ain't, this is not even happening. Um, so I, I look at her and uh, I, I see she's wearing a Queens of the Stone Age t-shirt. And I'm like, oh, sh okay, I fucks with that, right? Right, that's, that's, that's fuck wittable, right? So, you know, it's a great band. I don't know everything about Queens of the Stone Age, but, you know, I know some shit. So what I do is, you know, I'm in there on a fucking Wednesday morning. I return next Wednesday morning, because usually people have a set schedule. Um, and lo and behold, she's there. But this time, I come in with my big ass headphones. And what am I blasting? Queens of the fucking Stone Age. So I walk in there, and of course, inevitably, she's gonna be like, oh my fucking, I love that band. Oh, I saw them this one time. Now, obviously, I have a whole fucking speech prepared because I've been sitting on this shit for a week. So I go, oh, that. They are so good. I wish I saw them live, but I've watched I watched their all their videos, their live videos from their, uh, their 2003 underground tour, whatever bullshit. You know, just say whatever she wants to hear, and she mm, she eats it up, and then we become friends, and then I fuck. And then we, all right, I didn't fuck. I failed. But but it was a prospect. It was a prospect. My whole life is just prospects. I have no friends at all. They're all just prospects. I'm not his friend. I just, you know, made my move and I took my L. Um, and uh, that's really all you can do at that point. Um, be ready to take your L if you're Yo, willing to go. Yo, I gotta, it. I gotta agree. Take that fucking L right to the dome. All right, this you're gonna play this game. You're gonna fucking this is worse than League of Legends. You take your L's left and right, bro. That's it. You're fucking done. People usually get caught up in these vicious cycles of, of not getting and then trying to get and not getting and then trying to get. And it, it, it fucks with their psyche and then they wind up with these inevitable failures under their belt that keep on coming and just reinforcing the fact that they're not going to get any, they're not going to, you know, they're going to stay, you know, stagnant and be right where they are. Um, and once once you let these failures get to your head, you almost you almost can't stop it. You know, I've seen so many, I've seen the downfall of so many men who just time after time, just they just fall off. They just keep trying and trying and trying to, to gain a prospect and stay focused and they just get nowhere. Um, and I, there's not, there's not a lot, a whole, there's not a whole lot you can do about that because that's something that they need to resolve within themselves. That's not, you know, it's not something that's going to get fixed by, you know, adding more numbers to the failure. 
You know, it's something like, why, why am I failing? Why can't I step my game up and talk to these women? Why can't I, why can't I build a connection? Now, a lot of people mess up with the small talk portion because nobody really wants to hear that shit. Nobody wants to sit in a bar and be like, oh, um, so what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm fucking um, data entry for for um, this company, corporation, um, um, human resources management, upper classmen, whatever. People, people want to commiserate. Tell somebody about a failure, maybe when you first meet them. Tell them, tell them your day was shitty. Try that. Don't don't be miserable about it. Be like, yeah, no, today was just today was fucking garbage. Uh, so now I'm going out to have fun. Because, you know, all day it was just, it just dragged on and, uh, you know, my, my boss is an asshole and some people want to say, hey, my boss is an asshole too. People don't want to go, yeah, look how cool my job is. Are you impressed? Yeah, well, my job's impressive too. No, people want to, you know, you, people want to relate. People want to exchange words. People don't just want to hear you blab. And I think that's where people really mess up because once you're really desperate and you're not getting the prospects... You try to step your game up in the way is, how can I be more impressive? How can I beat the other guys by just impressing her? Let me just impress her. Let me take all the attention. And it's just, that's not, it's not going to work. Let your focus guide you. Let your focus guide you to your prospects. Let your focus get you through the L's. Let your focus be the reason that you get it in. Um, you're going to go through a lot of shit. Which is why you need to let your focus get you through it now more than ever. Understanding your thirst, understanding the market is most important because then you can rely on your focus and that need to get what we all need, which is to get it in. To get it in. You gotta get it in. You gotta get it in. I'm Angel Dodger. And I'm Cody Jabroni. I'll see you next time. If you like this episode, check out my most recent episode on the left, which discusses whether or not abortions are ethical. Also, check out my video in the middle, which is another video that I did with Cody. It discusses what the age of consent should be. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.